Hello folks, this is Brian here from Streamwise Solutions, Connected Living Made Easy. We give you straight answers from trusted experts. Today we're going to talk about a streaming service called YouTube TV, which is where you get your local and cable channels from. Uh, we install a hardware package at Streamwise called Happy Streamer. And the whole idea behind that is to make sure you have the right hardware on your network to be able to stream effectively and to make things easy to use. After your hookup, uh, yes, you can access YouTube TV, of course, through your streaming media player, as well as through your phone or your tablet uh, in the app. However, what I like to have people do is just log in with the same email and password to your tv.youtube.com. You can see the web address up top here. And you'll have the exact same layout that you have on your TV and everywhere else with it defaulting to home, which is kind of like what you've been watching and what have you. Uh, but what I'm gonna show you is come over to the live grid TV guide. And you can come in here and you can scroll up and down and left and right. Uh, like I can see, for instance, uh, what's coming on tonight. And let's say I wanted to record something. They call it library, adding it to your library, but basically just look for this little plus button and remember that the DVR is a cloud DVR with YouTube TV, so it's unlimited. So I just suggest people find all their favorite shows, movies, series, shows, any type of hobby topic, just search for stuff. So yes, you can search for it in the grid guide, like kind of like you're used to, it goes out like a week or so. However, I find it's actually easier to do it differently you can see I just did right here and I hit the plus, it adds it to my library. So it'll record anything. It'll even have on-demand stuff that hasn't been recorded yet. Keep in mind, if you have not recorded it yet because you just hooked up the service, it's only gonna have on-demand with some commercials. So it really will get better over time because this show will be coming on whatever tonight and then next week, and then you can actually skip commercials. So that's why I suggest just adding everything to your library. If you don't wanna have it in your library anymore, you just uncheck the checkbox there. So that's how simple it is. However, instead of doing it through live in the grid guide, uh, the four main sections here, the other main section is search. So if you come over to search, you can filter by sports, shows, movies, news, whatever you want to. You can filter by networks and find your favorite shows that way. It shows you what's trending, what's popular, leagues. So you can record every single NFL game, every single NBA game. You can actually go and search for your specific team that you love and like Denver Broncos, for instance, you just add Denver Broncos games to your library with the plus. Um, so there's all kinds of ways to do that. And as an example here, if I just come up and start searching for uh, like a movie like S Star Wars or whatever, Star Trek, you can see you just type it in and it starts finding it. Let's say I want to record Star Wars, click add it to my library. That's how simple it is. So you can like within 30 minutes, you can have hundreds of shows and movies just added to your library so that when they come on, they'll actually not just record them, but it'll add all the on-demand stuff you can start watching right away. But more importantly, for future reference, they'll stay out there forever. So you never have to waste a bunch of time on the guide anymore. Um, the grid guide is kind of a thing of the past, honestly. I just use it to see what's on right now, but there's even better ways to do that. You can see it also adds similar in here. So it's like if you like Star Wars, you'll probably like these as well. So you can really quickly click on these, add those to your library. So it just makes it a really easy way to get around. You can actually click on the cast and find, like, let's say you like Harrison Ford. You can find other movies or TV shows, things like that coming up that have uh, Harrison Ford in it, like The Fugitive. Add that to your library, right? So there's a really quick, easy way to get around. Uh, go to the search button and add recordings. Uh, and I would suggest doing this all from your computer, your uh, laptop or PC or what have you. And it'll go much faster. Uh, we have other training videos related to YouTube TV on the specific sections. So if you subscribe to our Streamwise channel, uh, we'll go over library and how to add that stuff to your DVR individually. We'll go over the home screen, the grid guide for live, and then search in more, in more detail as well. And you can see after you add them to your library, they come over here. And this is just kind of the new stuff. This is what's most watched. Here's what's scheduled to record. And then it filters it by your shows or movies. So there's a lot of different ways to see it. And then, of course, you can go back on your TV and anything you've done here will automatically update to your streaming media player on your TV as well.
All right. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. Again, we're Streamwise Solutions, Connected Living Made Easy.